Coming up on 740 here at Cape Hell, it's Nathan and Bernie in the morning. Two three two fifteen forty two. If you'd like to join the conversation with us this morning, Jackie Russo joining us in studio for our weekly brand buzz discussion. And Jackie, you should have left the rain at home. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Yeah. I was thinking about this weekend. You know, I was praying for the rain to stay away so that softball and baseball could have the triumphant yes. sweeps that they had, and yes. that works. And I woke up this morning and I was thinking, man, it is wet out there, but I have so much to be grateful for. One, no one has tried to set me up by um, hiding drugs in my car and having me falsely arrested. Okay. <laughs> um, right. Okay. Two, um, I feel like I don't have a pee rogue, but my car is just high enough to get through these floodwaters of Lafayette. Right, I love the fact right. that Dave Baker saying. You mean Ambassador Caffrey Parkway? Or any street at this point. <laughs> Dave Baker saying 80% chance of rain. I think that's so sweet of him. As if he could be, you know, mildly optimistic. So cute, huh? So cute. That's so cute. And I did not drop any of my children in a cheetah cage. So yes. This weekend oh my is a goodness. win for me. Yeah, I, you know, I am with you. On that multiple is so true. levels. Yeah. I, I, me too. Me I mean, too. you know. And, you know, let's add a bonus to that one. Sure. We woke up today. That's always true. good. That's, a, that's uh, one I, for the win column. Too, absolutely. You know? yeah. I'm still trying to figure out, though, as a parent... <laughs> Why would you dangle your toddler over the rail on the other side of the railing on, above know. a cheetah pit? But uh, if Michael uh, Jackson was still here, we could ask him. <laughs> and there you go. What, whatever makes a parent dangle their child over anything. I mean, you have to be on drugs. Well, you have to have a license to drive. You should have to have a license to parent. Seriously. Mm, Seriously. A, Seriously. All right. That's a topic that. for another another, <laughs> another conversation, day, huh? I think. <laughs> All right, so Jackie's joining us for, our, again, our weekly Brand Buzz conversation. And, look, we, we live in a time and an era now where, you know, you don't have to punch in at a physical uh, workplace anymore. You can do your work from almost anywhere you want now. Just about. And maybe that lady was working from the zoo. Could you be. never know. <laughs> working something. Working something. Working an, an unintelligent <laughs> bone in her body. Um, but, no, you, you, that's one of the great things about uh, this day and age and the advent of the Internet and all the tools that have been devised for business that you can use on your smartphones and laptops, et cetera, is you truly can work from anywhere. Now, some people say it makes it worse because now you're expected to work 24-7, respond to emails at 9 p.m. at night, et cetera. But that's about self-control. That's about self-control. Don't check it. Just don't check Just it. Just don't do it? No. After five, uh, We have oh. a standing rule at our company. At 5 o'clock, the company is closed. You are not expected, obligated, Can required. I, but you you own your company. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's a little bit different. Do you different. want me to own your company? <laughs> oh, oh, do not go there, Bernie. No, no, no. But can I? No, I'm, I'm not going to go there either. Um, and I've already, I've already horribly well, I forgotten what I was going to I guess what he was probably thinking is it, it does depend on what kind of company you work for. But it you does. should give yourself a break. You have to. Yeah. I mean, you just have to. You have to have some time to turn it off and check out. And rejuvenate and recharge. So you can plug back in. Exactly. And that yeah. time should be from, you know, 5 or 6 p.m., depending on your company's hours, to 8 a.m. I mean, that's just how it's supposed to work. And if you are constantly working all night, every night, you can't. That's why you need to not have your phone buzzing right next to your bed when you're trying to sleep. You need to not be on that screen right at bedtime. You need to really give your mind a break. So in the Russo family, does, what time does the phone turn off? Um, well, different bedtimes for different ages, uh, starting at 11, your bedtime's 8.30, so your iPod, you don't have a phone, gets plugged in in the central charging station in the kitchen, and you're done for the night, mm-hmm. all the way up to 10 um, for <laughs> high schoolers, same thing, and then midnight for adults. I just got a text message from somebody whose job is to basically be on call 24-7. He just says, I wish. Yeah, well, that's a different kind of job. Now, I bet he's not 24-7, 365. I bet there are times when he's off call. Well, on the, in when he's on case, vacation, yeah. Yeah, he does get vacation. Well, there you go. Yeah. So be <laughs> off. Don't answer the phone at that time. <laughs> and you know what? Sometimes it may need to, you know, may require going on a cruise or to a foreign country or someplace yeah. where your international plan dictates. Yeah. It's no longer your choice. You mm-hmm. are off. So, mm-hmm. so let's talk about the now that we're back on. We're, right. we're smack dab in the middle of normal business hours, at least for us we are. Uh, when you're on – uh, there are various tools that you can use in order to work from home or from any location, from Absolutely. a satellite location. Absolutely. And the idea, it, it probably seems very contrary to what we were just saying about being off. Yeah. But the great thing is, is it's being physically mobile. So now you can travel. And like, I travel a lot for business. 
uh, whether I'm back and forth to our New Orleans office or I'm on the road to a client location in other parts of the country. In the in the past, those would be horribly frustrating times because mm-hmm. I would be so far behind on email and so far behind on projects. But this way, I can sit in an airport and get work done and be really productive, mm-hmm. probably more so than when I'm at the office because at the office, I'm inclined to hang out and cut up with my coworkers. Right. We have story time. And story time takes oh. away from productivity often. Nathan, we need a field trip. Oh, to, yes. To, to Russo Group downtown? Yeah. Yes. I think we need a little field trip to, for story time. I want to take a picture with the Russo R. Well, well what we'll you want to the... do is hang out with us on Friday because we're having a fun day going out to the camp. We'll uh, bring the puppet. Knob Hill Farms in Ville Platte. <laughs> we'll be shooting oh, guns. Oh, I thought you and... meant Knob Creek. No, oh, no. wait. Okay. No, we'll be shooting guns and fishing and riding four wheels and eating bull crawfish. That's the day to hang out with the Nathan, Russo Group. we need to go on a field trip. <laughs> it's Russo Family Fun Day. Talk to the man who handles the finances in the corner <laughs> office over there. I don't know. Every time you say handling finances, it makes me think somebody's planting drugs in somebody's car. Oh, boy. Oh. So I'll talk about finances. Hmm. But there are many different ways that you can video conference. Absolutely. And so what we've done in RaiseYourBrandingBlog.com today is list some of these tools that you can use when you're on the road. Whether it's video conferencing like Skype and FaceTime, we have clients in other states that we've never been in the same room with. Uh, but we work with them via video conference. And it's a great tool. I don't have to fly to their office every time we're going to have a meeting. We can have a conference call. We can do an online presentation. We can do a video conference. Because sometimes you need to see their face and hear their voice and, mm-hmm. and really gauge their reaction. Yeah. You know, their, their voice may be saying yes, but their face is saying no. You don't right. know that if you can't see them. And so you need to kind of be able to physically check in and, and look at them. So video conferencing makes that easy. And that way I'm not stuck in airports five days a week. Right. Yeah, I have a lot of baseball to watch. I got to be here in town. <laughs> <laughs> okay, th- these are different project management programs, and I know that project management management can take up uh, many different uh, types of roles, etc. But teamwork, base camp, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce Trello. Trello. Yes. Okay, what do these accomplish? These are great. Again, having people in multiple offices, multiple markets, clients on dis- in distant lands. The great thing is everybody can be a part of an online project management system. So people can all see what's going on, weigh in with feedback. We have a client that books a lot of events, and we use these systems for keeping track of what event is going to happen when, at what mm-hmm. location, what the menu is going to be, what the specific requirements requests of the client are, you know, and everybody on the team is notified when there's a new event scheduled. And so everybody knows from the kitchen to the event planner to the marketing agency, everybody's involved Mm -hmm. and they're an out of town client. So it makes it that much easier to know what's going on and when it it is amazing what these tools can do for, for developing lines of communication and keeping everyone in the loop. And then of course, you know, no longer are we in the days where you have to send mail certified or first class or what have you in order to get it there to the client. I mean, Dropbox and Google Drive accomplish the same thing instantaneously. And, you know, it's funny. They're not just used for sharing photos of my son's high school baseball team on the field. Um, <laughs> you can use them for so many more productive work-related things. But they are great. And it's great for sending large files. It's great for multiple, endless numbers of people sharing those files. Everybody can download what they mm-hmm. need when they need it. Uh, great tools. Really great tools. Um, we use them for video production files. Mm-hmm. I mean, really everything. Right there, boom, the way you need it. I use Dropbox all the we, we Well, we used to drop, use Dropbox over mm-hmm. here all the time. I don't know why we ever something strayed got away weird from and it. it. Got a misconnection something, or something. Yeah, I don't know. Just somebody dropped it a little too hard. Somebody dropped that box hard on the ground. (laughs) Yeah, they did. Uh (laughs) Jackie Russo joining us for Brand Buzz as she does every Monday morning right here on News Talk 96.5. KPL, Jackie, where can our listeners go for more information? RaiseYourBrandingBlog.com. All right. Thank you so much. Stay dry out there. Dodge those raindrops. Come by on Friday. You can go to Knob Hill Farms with us. I have to take a half day Friday. I think Uh, so. I have to take a full day off Friday. (laughs) So um, I feel some coughs coming on. I'm going to be, yeah, I have an appointment down. Downtown with my, uh, never mind. <laughs> as long as you let me hurt you, like by punching you, then you can go. Yeah, no, I'm I'm <laughs> Talk to you next week, Jackie. Right. 748 here at KPL.